a drawer full of old cell phones or maybe even some old cameras. Or do you just want to upgrade your electronics but can't afford it? Well, most of us <laughs> fall into one of those categories, and now there is a website that is offering some serious cash for your old stuff so that you can go out and go ahead and buy some I new stuff. I love this. Our tech experts are here, Craig Agronoff and Herb Tabin, joining us live to talk about Gazelle.com. So, guys, this is really legit. It, it sure is. I mean, Let's put it like this. I'm one of those guys that always has to have the latest and the greatest gadgets and phones when they come out. So Shocker. I ran out with Herb and I bought the iPhone when it first came out. We waited online forever yeah. and got one. And then the following year or two, the iPhone 3G came out and we had to go get that yeah. one too. And then the iPhone 4 eventually came out and that's when Herb gave up on me. But I still <laughs> wanted it. But then I realized how much money had I spent along the way to go now and get this iPhone 4. So what I did is I took my old two phones shipped them away to gazelle.com and I got enough money to buy my new phone. So rather than sit in the back of your drawer, you turn them into cash. Fantastic. So uh, how does this work? The older they are, the less they're worth. The newer they are, the more they're worth. Yeah, I mean, they, they, it's, like, it's like milk spoiling. They don't get better with time. The price goes down. And the way it works is you just go to the website, uh, fill in some information about your item, and then you go and you put information like, uh, does it have accessories, the condition of the item, and push a button and they're going to tell you how much they'll pay you for it. But now it's important to have the charger because that will always get you the most money as, as far as accessories go. Having that charger is very important. But what if I say my cell phone is in good condition, it's really not in good condition, I ship it in. Well, I, uh, they'll, they'll base it on what they determine to be the price of the iPhone when they get it? Yeah, they know precisely when the phone arrives, if it is in the condition that you say it. And if not, they'll make you a counter offer so that you know, here's how much money that you'll get for the phone. But now also get this, is if they don't keep the phone, they will properly dispose of that phone for you. So that this way it doesn't sit inside some landfill, you know, uh, uh, harming the environment. So you kind of get cash and help out the environment at the same time, and that's pretty miraculous. I just right, thought $222. Is that yeah. average? Well, let's get down to business here, okay? The real reason why I set this up. Suzanne and I, we both have the iPhone 3, <laughs> and we want the newer iPhone. <laughs> how much can we get for yeah, it? Yeah, how much are we going to get for it? Well, are we going to get that $200? We just looked it up just now, and it's only going to get you $77 now. And every month, you look, they have a chart, and the chart goes lower and lower. So again, uh, it's that spoiling milk or melk melting ice. It doesn't get better with time. 77 bucks. That's pretty good, though, I think. Well, you've had it for how many years already? Yeah. Right. Several. And okay, so what are the concerns as far as privacy? Like, you know, my cell phone has a lot of uh, passwords and also, you know, emails. Should I be concerned about that if I'm turning that in or even my computer? Well, Eric, it's always recommended that you take the necessary steps and precautions to erase your phone before sending in your phone anywhere. Um, and you can do that by a simple system reset. It's a master reset type of uh, feature. But Gazelle, when they get the phones or your computers, they also erase everything a second time just to make sure that there is nothing left on the device. 